Welcome back to my Unreal Engine 5 Tetris Select tutorial. We're going to continue on where we last left off. Um, so now I'm going to set up this uh, set Tetramino move direction. So this is actually going to be where we start getting logic for the um, Tetraminos themselves. Uh, uh, you know what? Let's let's just comment that out. So we're going to need set Tetramino move direction, and that one can be protected I believe so let's um I might as well just copy it from the existing one set tetramino move direction oh and then we have one for it ending as well you know what let's grab both of these Why isn't it? Uh, whatever. <laughs> I don't know why it wasn't uh, switching between the stuff that I was actually looking at last. All right, set tetramino move direction. We will create declaration. The same thing with it ending. All right, and now what did this code actually do? I believe, oh yeah, we're gonna need our board statuses at this point. All right, so uh, we aren't gonna cover all this right now because this is like gonna end up being a ton of logic. Um, so what we'll do is we'll set up the eboard status. Um, there, there is actually a better way to do this than enums, but enums, however people like to say it. Uh, but I think I am going to stick with it. I might refactor this later, but probably not. For something this small, using enums for like a status thing, it's, it, I think it's perfectly fine, but it just doesn't scale well. If you end up getting tons of statuses you're going to end up with tons and tons of if checks but for something like what we're doing here i'm mostly just using it to handle animations and um you know checking to see like when the board is actually free uh so here i set this up in um in a game world but i think this time I'm not even going to create a new class for this because all I need is just something publicly accessible. Uh, so I can actually just stick this in the uh, tetracube.h. There we go. And then we'll take, actually, let's hit Alt O. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Worked this time. Okay. So then we'll grab the header file. Okay, I can close these. Add that header file up here. I'll just stick it below Tetramino base. And I did paste that in, correct? Yeah. So keyboard status type of uint8 and i'm going to have um ebs stands for eboard status a uh, free moving scanning rotate rotating um switching dropping and drop finished uh all of these will make more sense later i don't think i actually went through this in the previous project because this was part of like a major refactor um but for now just uh, copy those states in if you're following along. All right. So now that we have that, uh, we could probably close these down. Now we're setting the tetramental move direction. Which looks deceptively simple right now. And then the move direction ending Oh yeah, this uh this is where I handle 
the actual dropping. So we'll grab all of this, but I'm going to comment it out for the time being, and then we'll hit it as we go. So we can check the eboard status. Um, I probably should make sure that I actually copied that over. Let's copy this. I did not. I probably set it as protected. Oh, it's public. Not sure why I made that public. Honestly, I don't think it needs to be. Let's copy this. I'll make it um, protected. Just for the time being. I think I'm going to need to forward declare this. Uh, Enum. I copied it. Actually, is it an enum? Yeah, it is. Okay, I was I was thinking of this macro here, calling it a U enum, but it is just an enum class. We need both those, I would think. I don't think I forward declared this before. I think last time I just put the header file in here. Let's build, make sure that that works. Did not like it. Use of undefined type eboard status. It is forward declared though. Oh, maybe it doesn't need the class. Let's try building that. declaration of an unscoped enumeration must have underlying type you know what let's just go ahead and we'll stick it in the header file really don't feel like messing around with uh, figuring out what the issue is there It cannot open include file with no such file or directory. What? But it's right here. So, hmm. I think when it has trouble with this, I think what I usually do is I go in and I delete intermediate. Oh, no, wrong thing. Uh, I'm in TetraCube. That is correct. Intermediate and binaries. Now let's build again, see if that helps. Okay, I figured it out. Um, it still blew up even after I deleted the uh, intermediate and binaries. I just needed to qualify a little bit more. So it's in the TetraCube folder and then TetraCube.h because we are in public. So we needed to go up one. I also tried this and it didn't like it. So yeah. But 
Um, now the other shit, shit that it's bitching about is because I forgot to comment this out even though I was planning on it. We're still setting the board status, EBS moving. We do have the board status. All right, let's build one more time after we commented that out. Should work this time, I would think. Okay, it did. Um, all right, so what's the next thing that we can do? Check set in play. Now that one is just checking if, actually let's look at it. Uh, it's checking if the tetra in, in play is null. Um, if it is, then we're going to, I hope if I actually got it on screen. Yeah, we're checking if the tetraminnow in play is null. If it is, we're popping one off and then we're setting its position to the top center and then we're adding another tetraminnow to, to the queue. So I think we can actually implement this one now. Um, check set in play. I think this one, oh, it's protected. Oh, that's because it is player board. For some reason I thought it was something that I was calling on Tetra Minnow base, but it is not. So you can be protected. Let's drop you in. Create the declaration. So, um, yeah, so I already went over this one. Checking if it's null, if it is popping one off. If not, we're just gonna skip it. Pop, uh, setting the position to the top center and then add Tetramino to Q. So this should, this is all implemented. So I think we can add this safely. And now when we actually click into the screen, we should pop one of the tetraminos off and set it in play. All right, so let's build this again. Actually, I probably could have just launched the editor. All right, that worked fine. Um, source control, I want the editor. All right, I'm gonna launch and I'll see you in a moment. Okay, we are in, let's hit play. Uh, so when I click this, I would expect a T Tetra Minnow to leave this, move right here, and then we'll get a new Tetra Minnow down at the bottom. Huzzah! All right, perfect. And as an added bonus, one, finish closing, there we go. As an added bonus, we did not set EBS to free if we're not. So we already have a check in place. So if I clicked multiple times, and I actually did try, um, instead of it putting a new Tetra Minnow in there every single time, it wasn't in the correct status. So it just left it alone. So we're already uh, getting dividends from <laughs> adding these enums early. Uh, but that's all I'm going to do in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.